Hello, I want to do a short video of uh, one of the new features that is incorporated into HDX uh, 2.8.3 and uh, is what is called text generation. Text generation is um, a method that um, a spectrum uh, has so that you can display menus on the radio and interact with some of the devices uh, using the sticks. Something that is different from forward programming is that in forward programming, you interact by the menu, you change everything through the, through the menus. But in the case of text generation, it's much more simpler. The, in this case, the ESC will just display the information on the screen and you will use the sticks of the radio to actually navigate through the menu. So we're gonna uh, show here how is it set up. So one of the first things is that obviously we connect the motor, we connect our receiver, and something that is important is that the receiver, the ESC has to be connected to the port one of the receiver. It will not work on any of the other ports. The second thing is in the radio, you have to set up your ailerons as well as your throttle and um, elevator to move 100%. So no dual rates uh, allowed uh, in there because to be able to get into the programming menu, it requires that the movement is 100%. So here is already program. I will show you how, how it works. The... So in this case, I have on my switch A, the throttle. So in this case, it's moving clockwise right now. If I do a switch, it's moving counterclockwise. So you see it's changing direction, so I will change it right now. So that's what um, the reverse does. That's one of the neat things about this new ESC is the, the capabilities of reverse. So now we will see how is that done in the radio. Now to program that ESC, we have to use this new low script that is called DSM Smart RX Terrametry. The script has um, kind of many menus, but the one that we really want to use is uh, text generation. So this menu is being sent by the ESC to the radio uh, through the receiver. So the receiver is an intermediary, but the Avian ESC is actually sending the, the information. So now, if you see here, it's asking to use the um, low throttle, that's good, up elevator and um, left aileron to get there. So if I try to do it right now, it will not work. We'll zoom out a little bit. It's not working because it's protecting um, the settings because it only can be done within the first 30 seconds of uh, connecting the ESC. So we'll do that. We disconnect the battery, reconnect the battery. Now the ESC is initialized, so up elevator, left aileron. We will go to step two. There you go. Now we go to the other side. Five seconds, and now we are in the menu. So to navigate the menu, we use up and down, and to change the values, Six we seconds. use left and right. So let's zoom in to see how, how it looks. Let's do it again. So you have a, a better view in there. Disconnecting the battery. Telemetry lost. Connecting the battery recovered. again. Okay. So now I go elevator left island, and you will see now it will go to step two. 
There you go. And now it's right eyelid on up elevator for five seconds. There you go. So that's the menu that is used to program the settings of the ESC. So the first parameter is, for example, we're left. using a fixed wing. In this case, we are. This is the very first important one, that is the, the brake type. So if you see here, probably when it comes from the factory, we'll say it's normal. You wanna change it to brake type reverse. Then the other thing that you want to do is program a channel to be used for reverse. So that's almost all the way down in the menu. So here we go. Thrust reverse. So right now it's on channel seven. We can change it to channel eight or really any, any, any channel. Even if your receiver is just six channels, you can use any channel above, uh, well, really any, any channel, but you wanna use the ones that are above six. So if you need to use the, the pins for the servos, you are not using a channel that you can use for something else. So, so let's use channel seven that is completely uh, over the range of this uh, six channel receiver. So it will still allow me to connect up to six servos to it. So then it will go down and save. And that's all the programming that we have to do. Now we go back to the model. What do we have to set in the model? So as I was saying uh, in the beginning, is the ailerons we have to make sure that they are 100%. So if you see here, they move very much close to 100. Doesn't need to be 100, but 90 something, but they need to move. So if you have dual rates, make sure that you turn off the dual rates. You want uh, the ailerons elevator to move almost all. The other thing that I have is I have in this case, my switch A to do reverse. And um, right, it's at three, three positions, but practically on the lower side, it will be clockwise. And if um, I go all the way, middle will be also clockwise and all the way up will be counterclockwise. So it's really just, just two settings. The other thing that is important is that you don't want to have um, any safe uh, auto level or safe envelope because that take control of the elevator and, and also the ailerons. So the ESC needs to receive a really kind of a clean signal of the elevator to the really right hand side uh, com completely 100%. So one of the things that is um, important is to validate that. So we will go to the as settings also in same smart telemetry and we can check what are our current settings. So for example, here I, in my switch, I have fly mode one, fly mode two, fly mode three. So fly mode three is my angle uh, demand. The other one is safe and we don't want any of those when we are setting up the ESC. So we go to the basic that is usually fly mode one that is the most basic that is just AS3X uh, uh, heading. The other thing that this script has is a little bit of information about the ESC status. So, so you can see here telling me the ball touch, temperature, and uh, some other values. So for example, here is displaying how much amps is the motor using and so on. So it's a value in, 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 in real time. Uh, I know that there are some still some box in the RPMs and the throttle percentage. And that's something that we're gonna fix probably in 2.4 or, 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 or later. That is uh, some values in the telemetry, we are not uh, processing them correctly. So we will need to, to fix them in a, in a future release. So that's all you have to do to set, a, set it up, uh, very, very basic. Um, and, and really cool kind of ESCs allowing to have the, the reverse. 
So that's all for tonight. Kind of quick video, but um, just wanted to show you that it can be done. Thank you.